NASA police officers were welcomed into the force today in San Jose. 22 officers marched proudly in their graduation. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo read the name of each officer and welcomed them to begin serving the city. It is a dangerous job, and the police chief's message to the new officers was a solemn one. We all know that embarking on a career like this, which is to serve and protect, and there are inherent dangers. It's always a possibility. We know that. And unfortunately, on March 24th, uh, we witnessed those dangers play out. Officer Michael Johnson will forever be remembered as a hero and never be forgotten. Johnson was shot and killed last month while answering a call about a suicidal man. The chief ended his message to the new officers by telling them to be safe. The auditor's office released its yearly report on the San Jose Police Department. One of the main issues noted, use of force incidents by officers. New at 6, KPX 5's Christian Hartnett explains what this would mean for San Jose Police. Christian? Well, the department hasn't commented on the report just yet. Chief Esquivel still needs to read through it all. But recommendations in this audit are pushing the department to hold officers more accountable when using force. This cell phone video taken in September of last year shows an off-duty San Jose police officer slamming a woman into his car. According to San Jose PD, the off-duty officer was allegedly rear-ended by the woman who drove off. He chased her down and showed her his badge. Then the struggle began. Internal affairs determined the officer's use of force was justified. But now there's a call for the department to look closer when an officer uses force to see if the punishment fit the crime. When they internal affairs looks at the appropriateness of the force, was it excessive? They should also look at well, what gave rise, what was the, the crime, if you will, that got everything started. And that's not in the mix. Independent police auditor LaDoris Cordell took a look at more than 300 public complaints over use of force in 2014 alone. Her report recommends a more thorough examination of use of force incidents and the role officers played in them. It might send a message then to officers that to understand that if there is a complaint made about your use of force, the department's going to look at what gave rise to the force. What did you do that may have or may not have, but may have provoked the force? Cordell's report also recommends that San Jose PD implement a more thorough evaluation of racial bias accusations. Not one accusation of racial bias has been sustained in the department's history. Live in San Jose, Christian Hartnett, KPIX 5.